Hard Boy Boss and Zogrok War Score review. Let's get to it. So we'll start with the Hard Boy Big Boss first. So just a quick reminder of, of what he does. So he has five attacks at 3312. So it's not the absolute worst attack profile ever. You can expect just under three damage damage from him on average against a four up save. So, you know, he's not, I wouldn't call him a fighty hero. I would for sure describe him as a support hero. Um, yep, three up save is good. So he's a little bit tankier than most and the rest of it is pretty standard. The, uh, he has two abilities. One is that he can issue rally to two different Ard Boy units that are wholly within 12. And uh, he gets a 5 up instead of a 6 up rally. So that's fine. And then his other ability is you add 1 to Ard Boy's shield bash roll. So instead of it being a 6 up, now it's a 5 up. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, some pros. The 5 up rally can be really strong against different kinds of magic and shooting metas if you have two Ardboy units and you're getting pelted a bunch you can bring back some models uh relatively low impact ability though i would say most of the time because you know con what if your meta isn't shooting in magic heavy right like are you really going to bring him in a list and you know against other you know non-shooting non-magic armies what what's he bringing right uh, the 5 up bash is going to add a little bit of damage, but it's only going to add 0.83 damage on average. So it's not even going to it's not even going to bring on average one damage, right? So the hero's not very so the hero is is not bringing any damage almost whatsoever. Right? Like he's not very fighty uh then, you know, like he's he's okay fighty. But he's not, you know, threes and threes, one rend, like, it's not, it's not amazing. The two damage is okay, right? But he's not really bringing any damage. He might be worth playing if you have 20 or 30 Ard Boys that are wholly within 12. If that's your strategy, like if you're playing Iron Suns, for example, then the value here goes up. Especially if you can do, you know, if you have some reinforced Ard Boys or just a bunch of MSU Ard Boys and you're able to, like, cycle them in and out of combat, you know, that could be something. But he's not a totem. So you got to be within 12, right? You got to be wholly within 12 of this guy. So in non, like I was saying, in non Bloodtooth Iron Jaws, you might, he might be worth something. You could see some testing. But in in these other lists, you know, like in Big Wah, for example, he just takes up a valuable hero slot and he's not, he's not bringing enough. Overall, meh, pretty disappointing. Not going to lie. We, I, had, I held a, a War Scroll competition in my Discord for this model when we first saw it. And I would love to show you and just draw a quick comparison between what uh, was actually, like what like what we uh, what we came up with as a community. Or this was the community winner. Shout out to um, a Big Old Rat in uh, the Discord. I'm pretty sure that, that that's, that's his name. Yeah, Big Old Rat. Big old rat. So here's the uh, so here's the war scroll. Um, oops, sorry, get that out of the way. So you know, uh, three attack. So th this attack profile is overall worse. It's about the same amount of points. It's on a four up save. But let's. I'm 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 way more curious about the abilities here, right? Uh, when this unit gives an all out attack command to a friendly Auric Ard Boy unit, increase the rend by one until the end of that phase. This effect is in addition to the, the effects of all-out attack. So str straight up, for 10 more points, that's just better, right? Like, I'm just going to give plus one rend. When this unit gives the all-out defense command to a friendly orc Ardboy unit, subtract one from wound rolls made against that unit until the end of that phase. This effect is in addition to the normal effects of all-out defense, right? So it's like plus one, you know, plus one to save, minus one to wound. Oh my god, so much better. Promise of pain. If any orc Ardboy units hold it within 15, so 15 inches, not 12, of this hero suffer losses from battle shock, roll a d3, subtract the number from the number that are gonna run so i mean oh my like what like what a better war scroll that would be giving rand and giving like yeah so much better this war scroll disappointing so let's talk about uh zogrok zogrok anvil smasher great looking model really fun name to say uh he is more fighty than the other uh than the art boy uh boss if you take his Choppa, you're looking at 5.22 damage against a 4-up save on average. So now for the points, we're, this is more than a Mega Boss on foot. If you take the Sword. 
Uh, without the sword, the tongs, you're looking at slightly more damage than the uh, Ard Boy Big Boss, but you know, you're looking at 3.11 versus a Forb save. So with the tongs, definitely not going to be uh, uh, as fighty. So his his ability is Power of the Green God on a four up. Uh, it's you you pick a unit, uh, and he doesn't have the uh, the like any kind of totem ability either. So you pick a unit wholly within 12. You roll a die on a four up. That unit gets uh, on sixes to hit. Deal a mortal wound in addition. If you take the tongs, it's on a 2-up instead of a 4-up. And then he has another ability, the Ward Smashing Choppa. If an, so, <laughs> with it, with the Ward Smashing Choppa atta attack, like when you roll the attack, you roll two dice. And if you get a 6, you turn the ward off for the unit for the rest of the game. So, uh, yeah. You always take tongs, I think, because the Ward Choppa is a bad gamble. So, 30%, 31% of the time... If he attacks 31% of the time, he'll get to smash the ward. Okay, but your opponent knows what you're doing. So they're just not going to put something that has a very important ward in the path of this slow moving Iron Jaws unit. You know, you could do some, you could do some tricks like you could teleport him in Mighty Destroyers and do all these things. But if your opponent knows that you get rid of a ward and they're afraid of that, they're just going to avoid it. So... You know, if he gets to attack, which how how often do you expect this ward smash a choppa to actually connect with a unit that has a ward? Like not even to, to hit, like not even to proc and, and remove the ward, but just like roll the attack roll in the first place. Like my prediction would be like not often, every few games, maybe you'd get to roll this and then you know three out of ten times it's gonna it's gonna happen but seven out of ten times it ain't so i wouldn't be shocked if if you played with zogrok every single game and you played against different armies and different opponents all the time i wouldn't be shocked if this thing only worked one in ten times so you take the tongs because at least then you know on a, on a two up you get this other ability right but even then the green hot weapon buff only adds two or three damage like, that's it. The, the Gore Grudges love this the most because they have a really high volume of dice and they're sitting at 3.66 damage on average. Now, it is Mortal Wounds, right? It is damage. It is Mortal Wounds. But, yeah, so, I mean, like, he's not bringing a lot of damage, right? It's like you're you're not going to take the Word Smashing Choppa, so the Tongs have a profile of three threes and fours, no rend, one damage. Like, he's not gonna fight in melee you know and it, it's just not it's just not good violent fury's always better i did a whole bunch of i did like a bunch of different uh like like ch like i here i'll show you I, I i charted out a whole bunch of, of stuff for this unit and for this army and it's just not like he's just not gonna bring the damage because oops that's not right oh well th th this will work Violent Fury is always better. Like you can see over in the right hand column, it's like adding one damage is, is better. And even where Zogrok is best with the Gruntas, it's like Violent Fury is still just better. Like even at his best, he's still not all that effective. Um, that being said, you could do both, right? Like you could have Violent Fury and then you could also have this Zogrok buff. So it's, you know, they, they, they do stack with each other. So you, you could... If you wanted to go all in, throw a whole bunch of buffs onto some core grunches and throw them in, right? Uh, the Mega Boss is going to deal more damage overall because he can take Destroyer, right? The Mega Boss is looking at an average of almost 12 damage when he pops Destroyer. Another thing about the Mega Boss is the Mega Boss fights on death. So your your damage is, especially with the new All at Lookout Sir rules, the damage that you're going to bring to the table from a Mega Boss is going to be significantly greater. Um, also, the Mega Boss deals or gives out these two commands, right? Like th that's pretty good. Strength from victories, like whatever. You know, the Mega Boss has has a worse save, but with Lookout Sir and and um, you know his fight on death ability, it's like you're gonna get the value out of the Mega Boss. But big fat meh. 160 points for this guy. Big fat meh. So conclusion: Iron Sons might like these two heroes, but nobody else will. Iron Suns, you know, if you're going to be like, oh, I'm going to reinforce unit of Ard Boys with Stickas, and they're going to 
they're gonna you know oh, okay well they have a now they have a good rally and their shield bash like a lot more models are gonna are gonna connect with my opponent so the shield bash is gonna add even a little bit more damage and then zog rock is gonna add this this buff and you know i'm gonna be if i can get all my 20 ard boys in i'm gonna be throwing up you know like 41 dice or whatever so 41 dice uh to, to mortal wounds on sixes is actually you know like something like that's you know you're starting to get a little bit more damage but no one else is gonna like these models it seems to me like this range is almost like hey we're gonna buff foot iron jaws okay i still think blood tooth reigns so thanks 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 gw for these heroes um i don't think i'll get them if you disagree prove me wrong in the discord or in the discord or in the um comment section but boo <laughs> like oh my god like subscribe wah